Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Barbie Dreamhouse Adventure Dolls and a playset. I found Barbie, Daisy, Ken, and Chelsea at Walmart. And I had to order Nikki online from Amazon. These two were about $20 each. These two were $15. And the Tiki Hut playset was also around $20. On the back of the box, there is a picture of the Tiki Hut set up and some simple instructions on how to use the moldable sand. Safety tested, gentle, not edible. Colors and decorations may vary, doll cannot stand alone. Unassembled, moldable sand may stain fabrics and other surfaces, avoid contact with carpet, clothing, walls, and furniture. Always read the fine print. Let's take this out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, some assembly is required. There are instructions. It looks like we have to start with this piece. This fits on the side. Place this on top. Add the roof. A palm leaf ceiling fan that spins. A hanging egg chair with a plastic blue cushion. Assemble the palm tree, which is finished only on one side. The bottom fits into the sandbox. Attach the hammock. Add accessories like shaved ice and drinks to the counter. The included Chelsea doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. She wears a sculpted pink top with a pineapple on it and a pineapple skirt with an elastic waistband. She finishes her look with a pair of pink sandals. This playset comes with moldable sand for the sandbox. This stuff is so much fun! Whoa, this is, it's very firm. It's kind of, kind of like a brick. I just gave it a little bit of time and it is starting to soften up. So we can get it inside of the sandbox. There we go. It comes with several molds that we can use to play in the sand, like a seashell, turtle. Our turtle might come out a little better if we fill it with the sand first. Then press down and come on there you go little turtle and here is our starfish and the firm sand helps them to keep their shape use the shovel to fill the castle turn it over to see the sand castle wow that worked really well and you can make your own sandbox by using our diy how to make a doll beach video we use kinetic sand and it's large enough for Chelsea and a few friends. Chelsea can sit in the egg chair and lounge in the hammock, which is just her size. Barbie and her friends, on the other hand, are gonna need something a little larger. Barbie is ready to travel. On the back of the box, there is a lot of art from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. The show can be found on Netflix. Out of the box, Barbie is wearing her signature outfit from the show. It is a printed jean fabric with a ribbon belt that has a buckle and is stitched onto the outfit in the back. She finishes her look with white shoes with pink stripes and a pair of sunglasses. She comes with a number of accessories like a book bag, puppy, camera, headphones, travel bag, toothbrush, toothpaste, water bottle, cell phone, neck pillow, and an eye mask. The travel bag and book bag are open so you can put some stuff inside. And she has a large pink suitcase that can also open. Inside, you will find an insert and stickers that has a travel magazine, passport, and plane ticket. They are kind of thin because they're on sticker paper. So I'm going to take the insert that was in the suitcase Place the stickers on top, carefully cut them out to make them stronger to handle more wear. I'm going to put this little sticker on the travel bag. Cute! Let's see if everything can fit inside of the suitcase. Awesome! Daisy has a similar setup, purple luggage, orange cat, guitar, camera, cell phone, travel bag, toothpaste, toothbrush, water bottle, headphones, a travel pillow. She is a curvy Barbie with pink hair that may need a little TLC out of the box. She wears a purple top 
printed denim pants with an elastic waistband, yellow animal print shoes, and pink sunglasses. Here is Nikki. On the show, Nikki has braids, but this doll just wears her hair in two afro puffs. She wears a green dress with flowers, the back is solid, and a pair of orange sneakers. Nikki is a crafter, so she comes with paint and a paintbrush, a camera, a coffee cup, and a bag. Whoa, Nikki is a crafter, she likes green, and wild colored tennis shoes. Throw on a pair of glasses and we could totally be twinning. Ken also has some fun accessories, like this orange book bag that is opened at the top, a silver colored camera, sunblock, aww, my paint's chipped at the top, a water bottle, cool bubbles, and a pair of yellow sunglasses. He wears a gray and blue shirt with a printed pocket, charcoal gray pants, and blue shoes. All of these dolls have the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. But you know me, I want more. Barbie is the easiest. She can swap clothes with the made-to-move Barbie baseball player. Their skin tones are a little bit different. Dreamhouse Adventure Barbie is lighter than the baseball Barbie. But since they're both Barbie, there's no need to head swap. Let's just change their clothes to get a fully articulated doll. I want to keep Daisy a curvy, so here are our choices. The curvy made-to-move dancer or the yoga Barbie. It looks like her skin tone is right between the two. If I had to choose, I think we'll go with the dancer. Everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. You can see a little color difference, but it's not too bad. And since I already had the hot water, I just dipped her hair in to smooth it out. Then we changed her into her signature outfit for an all new Daisy. And since Daisy loves music, the dancer's stereo makes a great accessory. Now what to do about Nikki? Nope, not a match. Nope, nope. I don't have a made-to-move body that is close to her skin tone. Let's try the Fresh Dolls. They have nine points of articulation, so Nikki will be able to bend her elbows and knees. This is Wave 1 Tamara. I found her at Walmart. The skin tone is still off a little, but it's a lot closer. Their head has to be warmed before removing, so you don't crack the body. Now we can add the Barbie head, switch the clothes, for a more articulated Nikki. I had to give her some fresh doll shoes because the orange are for flat feet only. At the moment, I don't have anything for Ken, but maybe we can help Chelsea. These Club Chelsea doll and horse play sets are around $14 each at Walmart. They have more articulation than your average Chelsea doll. Chelsea's arms can only go forward and back, while these can also go out to the side. This Chelsea's leg can only go forward and back, where this one can go out to the side, forward, and bend at the knee. We found her in two skin tones, so now she can have a friend. And a pony! Yeah! I just quickly switched their heads because her hair is neater out of the box. Wow, knees are awesome! The sisters can also be found ready for travel. Here is Skipper in her outfit from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. She comes with binoculars, a bag, camera, and a tablet. Stacy is wearing a jacket, t-shirt, and shorts. And she comes with a tote, sunblock, a drink, camera, and a visor. And Chelsea can be found with a puppy, teddy bear, headphones, carrier, and book bag. With all of these accessories, our dolls can have some pretty awesome adventures. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Barbie Dreamhouse Adventure dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.